Greetings! I was recently sent a subscription box by a company named Grabby and I had never heard of this company before but I was quite interested. When the company reached out to me to ask if I wanted to try out one of their box, I thought they had a really good premise and idea for a subscription box. So I will read a bit from the website. It says our story. The idea for Grabby started in January of 2021 as a response to the widespread anxiety and depression that touched many of our lives during the pandemic. We ourselves have experienced the uplifting, inspiring and healing powers of creative expression through art and became passionate about making it available and accessible to as many people as possible. Now, one dollar from every order you place on the website goes to the Grabby Art Fund. This fund was launched in September of 2022 to provide art supplies for people who can't afford them. Together, we're committed to encouraging everyone to embrace their individuality and express themselves creatively. Our goal is to support as many people as possible by giving them access to art supplies that they would not otherwise have. We know you'll find your inspiration here at Grabby and we look forward to being inspired by you too. May the art be with you. And there is something in there that I thought was really appealing and was really fun. And I like the idea of just pure creativity. I had no idea what I was gonna get. And when I opened the box, I was really surprised to see so many items of all kinds of artistic mediums, if I can say that. So in there you get canvases, you get blank cards, there is a watercolor paper pad, pencils, shiny paints, markers, a mechanical pencil, a sharpener, a pencil case, like a bunch of stuff. And I quickly started grouping items together in order to try everything out and have fun using those supplies. And I will show you what I ended up doing, what I came up with. I hope you'll find it inspiring. All right, so I started with the two small canvases and I combined these with the gold pump pen, you know, those pens, and with these opaque markers. I don't know for sure if they are acrylic paint, but they are quite opaque and when I swatched them, they came out looking, you know, good on dark background and on light background. And I had a dark canvas and a light canvas, so I thought, hmm, let's do something with that. I didn't have much of a plan, but I ended up doing these illustrations of a golden cat in foliage. And I had a lot of fun doing these. I didn't sketch beforehand, I just, you know, improvised and also used the gold to paint the sides of the canvas because I love this gold. I was super pleasantly surprised by how nice and shiny this gold is. You can see it on my swatches, it looks super good on both background and I was able to layer it to have an even finish and I had to layer these quite a bit too, especially on the dark background because they are more opaque but they're not completely opaque. Now I ended up using a white acrylic pen and a black acrylic pen in extra that didn't come with the box because I wanted to clean up the line and the edges and also correct a few mistakes on these. I was able to draw in with the white and then draw with the colors back on. So that was a lot of fun, honestly. I didn't expect to enjoy the supply as much. I'm not familiar with canvases all that much. I think this is the second and third canvases I've ever drawn on. <laughs> And it was super fun. So that's what I did with this canvases and these supplies. So while I was on a shiny things roll, I decided to combine these glittery paints with the card bases. What I first did is I used this mechanical pencil to make my frame in the middle. I still have to erase those bits, you know, the the guidelines, but that's what I did. And once I had the frame, I used another card to do the rounded corners in there like this and I did it all around and then to draw the shapes I used various items from the box so I think this one I used this tin for these I used the pencil tin like various corners and for this one I used the sharpener and I just overlap shapes that I traced with the mechanical pencil and when I was you know satisfied with my shapes I used the water brush, but I used it empty. 
water brushes are still a tool that I find really hard to use, so I just used this like a regular brush and it worked really well. I pre-wet the shimmery paints and then just use the brush to paint on the cards. Now this this is wet, but the cards are a nice enough cardstock that you can't tell that I've used a wet paint on this. It flattened out perfectly. I had to put down a couple of layers to have it a bit more even, but I think it makes for a really interesting card where the showcase is fully on the FX paints rather than the subject of the art itself. And I had three card bases, I had three shiny colors, so I felt like this was satisfying to combine together. Following all that, I had the pencils left that I needed to try and the sharpener to go with these. You can see the pencils, they kind of look good on black too, but I kind of opted to use them on a light paper because this is actually the watercolor paper that came with the set this paper but I use the back of the paper which is a bit smoother and that makes it a bit more suited to color pencils. I had a lot of fun doodling these with the pencils. The pencils are more on the hard side as far as I can tell and I tried to you know do a bit of mixing colors by putting down a light layer of a color like the brown and then going with the white over to try and mix it a bit. I think this is a really fun assortment of colors. The only issue that I encountered here was a bit more with the pencil sharpener. It's a clever design that has a kind of a little thing here on springs and the advantage of this little door here is that whatever crumbs are in here are not gonna fall out and make everything dirty but at the same time if the lead breaks in the sharpener and you have to push it out well it gets blocked by this and I, I haven't figured out if there's a way to easily remove the stock lead. Like, this is why I have a toothpick. I kind of had to push the lead loose, the one that was stuck, and then fiddle with the, you know, this until it fell down. So that was a bit trickier, but still, I like the idea of a sharpener that doesn't make everything dirty in your pencil case. So that's how I use this. And at this point, so I have used most of everything in this. All these I've played with and what was left was basically to try out this watercolor pad with watercolor. Now the box didn't really include any kind of watercolor so I decided to you know supplement with my regular supplies and I wanted to see what if I use this paper exactly in the same way that I would use paper regularly. So I use my regular paints, I use my regular pens and brushes and all that, but the only new thing in the mix is this paper. And I ended up drawing this. This is cellulose paper and it is cold pressed, but it has a really light texture. It's not too in your face. And also for cellulose paper, the texture is, you know, nice and even, but not too repetitive. It took to my pen really well, I was able to ink everything nicely. I had a border of masking tape, which I was able to peel off relatively well. It still tore a bit of the paper in places, so that's a small issue. And then I took my regular watercolors on this and I feel like it worked out really well. The only few things left in the box at this point are the pencil case, the leads for the mechanical pencil that I didn't have to, you know, change a swatch card for the shimmery paints and two stickers from the company. This pencil case, even though I didn't really use it, I think it's really nice. I really like the the design and the way it's made and it's a good size and I think it's going to be quite serviceable but I can store my items in here I guess. The brush is a bit long but I guess I could put it in one of these spots and I could put the other pens in here and just like roll it up and have all of my pens from this box in this roll, which, you know, is not a bad idea. Overall, I'm super happy with this box, honestly. It's something different to what I've tried before in a sense that most of the subscription boxes I've tried before had a theme or had a, a topic 
And I feel like with this one, the fact that it doesn't have one made for a really refreshing experience. I was left with a bunch of supplies and I had some mediums, I had some surfaces and I had a bit of everything and it was up to me to figure out how to use this stuff up and it was really really fun. I was so pleasantly surprised and I had such a good time finding projects for every supply in there. So yeah, I think this is a really, really fun box. And if you like this kind of variety assortment of items to play with, then I would suggest that you check it out. I'll have links in the description, as always. I would like to know what you think of it. If that's the kind of box that would appeal to you and what you think of my usage of all these supplies, I'd be curious to know. I want to thank Grabby for sending me this box and providing me with such a fun time. And I would like to thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate it as always. And I hope you have a great day. Bye bye.